and I'll give you one minute like at the end. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking part in our local democracy. My name is David Chu, and I am honored to serve currently as the president of your Board of Supervisors. Fifteen years ago, I moved to these neighborhoods. I actually don't live too far from you. And uh, about probably ten years ago, in my apartment building, there was a woman who was dealing drugs. And I decided, because of that, I needed to find the local neighborhood association and got involved, like all of you, in neighborhood issues in the neighborhood association that's just next to this neighborhood in Lower Polk Neighbors. And I want to thank all of you who care about our neighborhoods, who really take part in doing what you can to move things forward. I also worked on issues in this neighborhood having to do with crime. I spent some time in the San Francisco District Attorney's Office, and I know that this is a neighborhood that is challenged when it comes to issues of public safety, that you could use more help and more cooperation and coordination with our local law enforcement. And for a number of years, I started and ran a small business that is not too far from here. We were located on Jesse Street between 5th and 6th, Market and Mission. And again, I saw the challenges that these neighborhoods have when it comes to creating jobs and moving our economy forward. I did decided to run for the Board of Supervisors in 2008 because at that time, City Hall was not as functional as it could be. And I'm very proud that three years into my term as the president of your board, I think things are better. We are balancing our budget deficits on time, unlike Sacramento. We're winning the America's Cup. We are keeping jobs here in the city. But obviously, this is a mayor's race about the future. Let me just talk for a few moments about what I hope to see in the coming years. First and foremost, we have lost tens of thousands of jobs over the past few years. We've lost hundreds of companies. And I think if the next mayor doesn't help turn that around, we don't have others to look to. We see what's happening to the international economy, the national economy. In San Francisco, we have to do a lot more to nurture the 70,000 small businesses that are the lifeblood of our community to make sure we're putting everyone to work. That will be a top priority for me. A second priority for me has to do with the fact that I am the one major mayoral candidate in this race that does not own a car. Every day of the week, I'm on my bicycle, which is what I rode in today, on Muni, try to get into cabs when I can catch them, in a city car share, or I'm on my feet. And for the last few years on the Board of Supervisors, I have been extremely focused on making sure that we live up to our promise of a trans transit first city. I think one top priority for me in these neighborhoods is a priority that I also have in my district, which is around pedestrian safety. And it bothers me that there are 12 city departments that are supposed to be regulating the safety in our city streets, but nothing's happening. Now, a third challenge that I think that's facing us right now has to do with who we are as a city. Since the last census, we have lost thousands of families that have left San Francisco. There have been thousands of tenants who have been evicted from their homes and homeowners who have been foreclosed upon. In fact, we've actually lost almost half of our African American community yeah. since the 2000 census. These are very disturbing trends from my perspective. And I think if the next mayor doesn't work on what we need to do to reverse African-American out-migration, family flight, the eviction, the foreclosures of tenants and homeowners, we will be a city of single professionals and childless couples and seniors. So how do we do this? Obviously, we've got to focus on better schools, more affordable housing, services that actually address the needs of families and seniors. And this is what I hope to do until, uh, and I'm seeing the hand for one minute. You know what, let me just end it by saying that I think right now we need a new generation of political leadership at City Hall. One that has a record of getting things done. One that has a vision for where we're going to be and where we should not go. And we need a mayor who has independent judgment who is not going to be influenced by special interests from various sectors, from various sides in San Francisco city government. I think for those of you who follow City Hall, you know that I have been an independent voice, an independent vote. I vote my conscience. I do what I think is right. 
based on what I hear from the people. And that is what I will continue to do as your next mayor. So with that, any questions? We actually, that's the five minute marker. That's the five minute marker. Thank you all for having me here.